Hello, Internet, and welcome to my live reaction for School Live, Chapter 68. Uh, when we last left off, a lot fucking happened. Uh, Alzoi, not Al yeah, Alzoi, Alzoi died. Um, taken by the zombie virus, presumably, uh, or some random illness that kill killed her super fast. I'm pretty sure it was the zombie virus, though. Um, and then the Randall Protection Agency showed up. Uh, so our surviving girls had to escape from the building they were in, um, when they reached, like, uh, a, like, train station, um, one of those, like, L train stations they have in Chicago, um, uh, Yuri revealed to Yuki that Bowman, at, for at least as long as they have left Randall HQ, did not exist, and it was just a ploy made up by Aozoi. As did the as was the Randall Council, everything was a lie, and now we're left here with nowhere to go. And that's where we open off on chapter sixty eight, which is a minuscule seventeen pages. I'm not happy about. Uh, but we do get this color cover of all the girls in Halloween costumes. Um, we have Yuki in a witch uh, outfit. Yuri in a not very mummy-like mummy outfit. Mummies don't have that much skin showing, uh, Yuri. Um, Miki is like a cat girl. Um, Kurumi is a vampire or a succubus, maybe? It's kind of vague. Uh, and Taromaru's there, hello. Uh, you're not in the manga. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a cute little cover. Um, yeah. Anyway, we open up, um, this is either, I think this is the night before where we left off, because it's Miki with the shovel, she's exiting a door, she, like, opens a door into, a into like, a stairway leading down in much the same layout of the entrance to where they were last camped out, uh, so I, th and, and it's got, like, the black background, so I'm assuming this is a flashback. Uh, she walks down the stairs, she hears sounds, she hears, like, a clanging sound, and she sees a body. Yes, Alzoi, Alzoi has handcuffed herself to a metal pole. Shiko-san. And she grabs the shovel, and she walks closer to Alzoi. And she sees a car in the distance. Uh, and besides that, the, the road is empty. Uh, and Alzoi... Looks up at her. S seemingly still conscious, maybe? I can't quite tell. Um, we see, like, there's still, like, veins in her eyes, though. She's not in a good state. And, like, the, the sudden, like, look up at her freaks Miki out. Eep! Uh, and she raises the shovel high. And then we cut away to after Aozoi is dead. So, yeah, this this confirms it. Aozoi is dead. Uh, last chapter, last chapter wasn't very vague, but it was, like, not, it wasn't explicitly said, but here, Alzoi is dead, dead as a doornail dead. Uh, yeah. And, Miki is sweating. Uh, we see, like, her hands are, like, sweating, her face is sweating. Uh, I want to put this in contrast to her killing of Megune, way back at the high school. Um... Because both of them are very are kind of similar, you know. It's an execution style killing of someone of like a named character, uh, committed by Miki, and we saw, you know, she was a little bit choked up by killing Megane. Megane was not someone she knew. Alzoi was someone she knew and was kind of close to, and we see how differently it's affecting her than when she killed Megane way back when. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, moving on. Uh, she, st she, like, tries to stand up, uh, and slips in the blood, I think, and, like, falls back on her ass, uh, and her hand, like, lands in, like, a puddle of the blood, and she looks at it, uh, and she wipes her hand off, and she looks at either her phone or Alzoi's phone, it's also, like, stained with blood, and she picks up the phone in, like, a, in, like, a, a, like, a handkerchief, and she picks up the phone and looks at it. I thought it was strange. Oh, it is, it is Alzoi's phone. Uh, it's mail. I thought about a method for carrying Kunami Senpai. If you need to carry her quietly, perhaps a stretcher would work. Take two sturdy poles and cloth. Drape the cloth around the poles and tuck it around them. It should be easy to carry on two people's shoulders. 
So yeah, this is um uh Kur so she was acting as Bowman and she sent the message out to Miki. That's what this is. Um all right. And then we finally catch up with the present. Uh Yuki is taking this rather well, all things considered. Uh, all, all she says is, so it was a lie. It almost sounds like she kind of maybe expected this. I wonder how far back it was. How, how far back was it, Chiko-san? Originally, Bowman-kun had a simple response function, with navigation and a lie detector. But advanced conversation is impossible. So all of that, everything that wasn't, you know, a, either Siri... Or Siri, everything that was not Siri with the lie detector was all Alzoi. Okay. Bowman Kuhn's messages. So those were all Shiko san and also Randall Council. The good Randall never existed. Uh, and everyone is understandably down in the dumps over how hopeless their situation is. Yuki Senpai. I'm sure Shiko san did this for us. That part I understand. Uh, Yuki, like, interrupts her. Okay. And, like, the bold lettering there definitely, like, implies a lot of force out of Yuki. Um, but anyways, all interrupted by some banging in the room that they're in. Let's go. Right, let's move along the tracks. Oh, no, they're still at the train station. Okay. Um, they're moving along the railroad. Uh, carrying Yuki with the three of them. Or, uh, Yuri and Yuki are carrying uh, Kurtami. And Miki's acting as a lookout slash fighter girl. Uh, all of them, of course, very down in the dumps um, with everything that's just happened. Uh, and Yuri, Yuri finally speaks up. We should get down somewhere and find a car. Will there be any? There are plenty of cars with their doors ajar. Uh, and Yuki kind of like stares off. Let's rest a bit. Okay, let's get to the next station first. Okay, let's... And they hear some kind of crunching sound on the railroads. Once we get to the next station... All right, I think it's just their footsteps. Okay. Uh, then Yuki speaks up. Once we get to the next station, I want to stop for a while. Okay. We have to find food, too. Yes, I'm hungry. Let's look for another convenience store and then a car. Chips, chocolate, cola, candy, chips. You said chips twice. <laughs> Mikun, you don't like chips? I love... I love them. Stop saying chips. I'm getting hungry. Uh, so I, d I definitely see this as a, as a more... Whereas Yuki's um, bright and cheery attitude has never really felt forced before. In this bit, it definitely feels like she's just kind of like putting on this... Like the, the things she's saying don't seem to be matching her tone of voice. And it's, it's very clear this is like just for Miki and Yuri's sake. Um, anyway, moving on. I know. I'll eat mochi. Package mochi. Maybe there'll be some. A mochi party. Like for New Year's. Let's all toast mochi together. Yes, all of us. Yeah. Mikun, Risan, and Kurumichan will always, always be together. Uh, and, and Yuki is just like utterly crying now. And like, you know, because she recognizes this ain't gonna happen. On that day I realized... We realized that the end of our journey was approaching. And we see a drone is above them. Uh, staring down. Um, and that's where we leave off. Uh, they're, they're, we're, we're nearing the end of School Live. In case this, if, if, I'm assuming that's what this means. Uh, not just like the end of their journey away from Randall. Uh, because it definitely looks like Randall has found them and next time... We're getting Randall. Uh, they'll be right here trying to steal our heroes away. I want to talk about this thing at the bottom. Uh, the bottom left corner of the last page is sending a couple conflicting messages. Because uh, on the one hand, it says the next issue is November 24th, it looks like. At least I'm assuming that's what that says. I don't speak Japanese. I don't read Japanese or speak Japanese. But generally, that's like when the, when the chapter date is. Um, but it also says no new chapter next issue. Uh, I'm going to go back. Let me look at, I, I think 62 was the last time we had a chapter break. So I'm going to look at there and see what was going on then. Um, okay, no. So it's, it's, 
that's just saying when the next issue of the magazine is, I think. Because back in 62, it says, we see April 24th here, and then it says not appearing in the April 24th issue. So yeah, we are actually off next month. What a way to leave us for a month, School Live. You know, everything sucks and we're dying, is pretty much how this chapter is. Uh, you know, every every hope they had was a lie. Um, Alzoi is dead, dead, murdered by Miki, dead. Um, Randall's on their tail and knows... I've, either it's Randall or someone else has a drone. Uh, but it's probably Randall. Um... I, I don't think they're going to introduce another another new faction. That just seems a little bit weird. Um, but yeah, yeah, things. This was this wasn't that. I. This was kind of a light chapter, you know. It was both like one of the shortest chapters we've seen in a long time, and also we didn't really get that much. Like we got to see Alzoi's final moments, which was nice. Uh, and seeing, you know, Miki, Miki was the one who found her back at the university, and so Miki being the one to kill her makes a b good bit of, like, thematic sense. Um, but yeah, Aozoi, Aozoi is dead. Um. <sighs> Kurumi, of course, is still dying. Uh, we'll see if she, she's been dying. Kurumi, okay, this is my, I, I, I generally love this series, but let's be honest. Kurumi has been dying for over half the fucking series at this point. I don't think she's ever going to die. Kur Kurumi is somehow, like, she was, at one point she was infected, then she was cured, then she was infected again, then she was the hope for humanity, now she's back to dying. Kur Kurumi's kind of the show's one weak point at this point, just because it keeps kind of oscillating between letting her live and letting her die. Um, at this point, it seems like it's leaning towards death. Um... But yeah, like we we really didn't get much. Uh, we got Alzoi, as I said before, which was kind of stuff we all kind of figured after uh, last month's chapter. Um, and then we got the gang walking down the railroad for a little while, and they're being spied on by a drone that is probably the RPAs. Um. But yeah, that's really it for School Live in 2018, probably. Um, I know that in Japan the next chapter will be out on Christmas Eve, but by the time it gets translated, it will probably be New Year's. So yeah, that's School Live in 2018 is ending on a really sour on a really not a, a sour note. Makes it like this was a bad chapter. It wasn't a bad chapter. It was a frustratingly light chapter. <laughs> And it was a it was a dour chapter, you know. Everything everything is sad, and nothing's going well for our heroes. Um, but yeah, we're we're nearing the end of school life. Um, and it's I I hope so. I feel like I don't watch The Walking Dead. But I know enough of what's going on in The Walking Dead, especially with, like, tonight's episode was supposed to be, like, this big finale for, like, the main character, and it didn't really work at all, I've heard. So, you know, with, as a contrast to Walking Dead's complaints of just never knowing how to end, School Live is nearing towards an end. As, as we see in Yuki's final monologue, uh, on that day I realized, we realized, that the end of our journey was approaching. We are nearing an end... Um, given, given the series' propensity for hiatuses, I think we'll end probably in 2020. Uh, I think we're, I think we'll quickly, either, like, next chapter, or maybe chapter 70, uh, we'll, they'll end up in Randall, and I think Randall's gonna take at least a year or so of story. Um, so I, I think probably mid-2020 is going to be when School Live ends, just the rate it's going. Um, now, this is kind of a good place for, like, predictions of when the series is going to end. I, I definitely see... It's not going to end next year, I don't think. This, there's still too much going on for only, like, ten more chapters. Uh, but by mid to late 2020, I can see School Live ending. Uh, I don't want it to end, but, you know, it's it's still another year and, year and a half, two years of School Live. So... We'll have time with our girls. Um, maybe we'll get a season two. Who knows? 
Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna leave this video off here. Since I'm kind of ran, I'm just kind of rambling at this point. I uh, hope you all enjoyed the chapter and the video. If you did, feel free to drop me a like or subscribe or do whatever the fuck you want. I don't really care. And as always, people, keep kicking ass, and I'll see you in the future. Bye.